Okay, so now without my face, my bright face, this is the Pamphylia woodland and now I'm walking into the reserve. This is like the main avenue that leads into the reserve. As I was saying in the introductory video just before, it's quite a rare kind of habitat. It's probably impossible to come when it's very very hot, but at the moment it's July but it's still reasonably... I mean it's hot but it's, it's, it's reasonable for these areas. So I'm just going to say a little bit more about the vegetation here because there's lots of hazel but also probably the majority of trees are poplar. This would be a mixture of white and black, black poplar. I can see that to the left, sort of this area here, this part here, this is white poplar while this section here, at least in this, in this area, is black poplar. And of course there's lots of ivy as well. This shrub here is a shrub called Amorpha fruticosa. It's, uh, it's an invasive plant, comes from Asia, but it's taken over in many sort of canal location. This is field maple, so canal location, wetlands and, and what have you, kind of things. So, grasses, elm, but the majority are uh, ash here. This is ash. This is hazel. But the majority, there's also some oak. But the majority of the trees that I am seeing from here actually is white poplar. Populus alba. Typical wetland kind of tree because it withstands without problems. If an area gets flooded, it doesn't really suffer because of that. It's the same with black poplar, but I think the white poplar is even more resilient. So for instance, here on the left, this is a black poplar, while here to the right, there's a whole stand of white poplar. And then of course there's also lots of um, bramble and, and undergrowth in general. But I remember finding, this is a lime tree for instance, Tilia. But I remember finding this location really striking the first time I saw it, which I think was in 1991, if my memory doesn't fail me. I came here when, on, on, on one day when I was still at the beginning of my university studies, on, just on a day out, I came to explore the area and I discovered this place. I found it really striking. Also because it goes on for quite a while, it's not a small place. So I'm not going to film for much longer, but then I will film again when I get by the river, because that's actually quite a beautiful location. So that's an oak there, for instance, on the right, while on the left, a sort of more greyish kind of vegetation, trees, those are, again, white poplar. And then there's lots of, also vines, this is the, this is the oak. There's lots of vine and there's lots of, uh, yeah, bramble, as I said, ivy, like here. It's quite easy to get lost here as well, because there's lots of trails going to the side, like here. And then, I mean, it's kind of intuitive, because there's the river Reno to my right as I walk, and there's another canal with an embankment to my left. So basically, it's a very sort of elongated kind of... This is Elder. Uh, elongated kind of uh, reserve. So you don't really get lost, but it's just, it looks like it's bigger than, than it probably is. Still, it's quite fascinating. This is a cornus, cornus mass. This is again hazel, ash and poplar. Poplar and ash. Field maple. 
and more alleyways going into the woodland so I'm just gonna close this video now this is all white poplar and then I will film a little bit more once I get closer to the Reno the river